Today is September 6, 2011, and it is our first day on the job. Look what we have to clean up. Okay. Not going to disclose the location for privacy issues, uh, but this was a company uh, called Iron Mountain Recycling that uh, said claimed to be recyclers in the state of Colorado, but never actually uh, registered with the state. But uh, this is what could happen if you do not question or uh, wonder, at least, where your material could potentially be going. Uh, this individual or business pretty much uh, left this 25,000 square foot foot facility uh, in this condition. Uh, we haven't really moved too much around. We have moved a little bit around. Today's our first day on the job. Again, uh, September 6th, 2011. And uh, this is just one of the uh, rooms here. Let's see if we can pan out. You can just see I just left it in a complete mess. A um, bunch of TVs, appliances, um, other material. Uh, mainly I just want to capture this and put it on video uh, because we want to uh, have like a, a before and after we also want to be able to show our future uh, potential clients what R2 stewardship uh, is actually able to do I figure this is the worst that could actually happen uh, in, in our industry, in the computer electronic recycling industry. I don't care what state you're in, but uh, the state that this stuff was left in is just unacceptable. As you can see, there's just literally thousands of TVs, hundreds of thousands of pounds. The initial estimates put this at about 700,000 pounds of televisions uh, just by themselves. Uh, we first started this job by clearing out six 53-foot trailers um, that we uh, did at our facility. And uh, we definitely don't want to move this material to our facility to get processed. So I'm just, uh, again, making a video documentary, basically, of, of our job and our progress here. As you can see, you can't even see that there was a door there um, just on and on TVs after TVs um, Mitsubishi's uh, Sony's um, Zenith every every major name brand of, of television uh, is in this warehouse and so we're just walking down what what has become a path uh, so to speak to travel to and from the front of the warehouse to the back of the warehouse. So I'll stop about midway here and kind of give you a quick peek. That's the path I just walked down. And so basically we're gonna kind of do this job in stages. And one of our first stages is actually to separate the televisions into four different categories. The four categories that we're going to uh, put them in is uh, CRT, is going to be one. Then we have wood projection, that will be two. And then we have plastic projection, that will be three. And the fourth TV is the wood council TV. And basically, we're going to separate into those four categories so that we can begin to manage the material a little easier. So we're going back to where, uh, where we're beginning to stage some of the equipment. You can see it left a complete mess of a lot of material. Okay. He's yeah. Okay, so so there's uh, the plastic T 
televisions or what we're putting a plastic projection style television or DLP. Heading over this way. Just giving you more of a walk through. As we're not done yet, this is the path that we just went down and then walked over there for our first staging area. Now we're going to walk over to the east side of the building. So a pretty big warehouse. Give you an outside point of view. And uh, there's more. Some batteries, four clip batteries. Those will be recycled, potentially uh, resold for uh, remarketing purposes. Remarket the material and uh, get it back out into the community so someone could utilize that battery instead of just uh, recycling it for scrap but now we're walking towards the back so you can see I walk from there that's the main facility off to a, a kind of a branch off now we come in this room and you can see these are all projection style TVs uh, that we broke the wood off of and unfortunately uh, we had to throw the wood away. It's a it's a treated wood. Uh, we don't currently uh, know of anybody that's recycling the treated wood like that. But if you know, please get a hold of us. 303-781-1089. I'm Henry Rentry of Hill. I'm the recycling coordinator for R2 Stewardship, responsible computer and electronic recycling. Hey Joe, can I squeeze through there? Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Joe. Hello. But this one goes out. So you can see we kind of already did some work. The TVs were already all up to, you know, all covered, all around this whole backyard. And this is actually our ramp. More, more TVs, some plastic that we've already uh, gotten off from some of the projection TVs that we broke down. It's kind of separating the plastics into the uh, different uh, grades. So that's a, more of the black TV grade. Here's a clear, more clear type of plastic. This will be the covers. And the roll off here, as you can see, we're just mainly wood that we're throwing out, um, and a little bit of glass. As long as it's not leaded glass, we're able to throw it away. Unfortunately, in Colorado, we don't have solutions for every type of material. Uh, but it's it's still relatively a new industry here for Colorado, and so uh, Colorado, I believe, does have a lot of responsible recyclers that are, are trying to push uh, things in the right direction. Okay, so I'm gonna just give you a kind of a view of the warehouse. one of our little trucks.
But that's uh, that's the building. And so I'm going to be giving more updates. I don't want to commentate too much. Uh, it's pretty much self-explanatory. Again, my name is Henry Rentry of E Hill. I'm the recycling coordinator for an excellent company that's based in Denver, Colorado, called R2 Stewardship. We uh, are a responsible computer and electronic recycling company. Have a good day.